In this video, I'm going to tell you a fix for some frame timing and stutter issues that I was getting with Automobilista 2. Now, it's worth saying that this fix worked for me, but uh, this might not be the issue that's causing your frame timing and stutter issues in your case. I thought it was worthwhile me putting this video out though because uh, this, this might be occurring to other people and this will make the game run absolutely fluid smooth if it is uh, and uh, you know I like to try be at least vaguely helpful. So getting straight to the, uh, the issue that I was having, um, what was causing the issue is that the game was trying to output to the wrong refresh rate of the monitors, the wrong hardware refresh rate of the monitors. In order to fix this, what you need to do is you, uh, or to find out if you've got the same issue that I was having, is what you need to do, you need to go to your display settings by right clicking on your desktop, uh, open your display settings, go to your advanced display settings button there, and check to see what the actual refresh rate of your computer monitor is, or the monitor that you're using to play Automobilista 2 with. Uh, in my case, I'm using three LG OLED C1 screens, but I use NVIDIA triple screen, so it sees them as one monitor. Um, that's in my case. In your case, you just need to get the, the one monitor that you're using to display the game. As you can see, in my case, the refresh rate of my NVIDIA triple screen monitor is uh, 119.998 hertz. So to check that this lines up with your Automobilista 2 settings, what you need to do is you go into My Documents, Automobilista 2, and there's a file in there called Graphics Config, graphics config DX11.xml. Now you want to open that with Notepad, or ideally install Notepad++ because it's much better than Notepad, but you can open it with Notepad and in this file what you'll find are all the graphics settings for Automobilista 2. Now these are the settings that you can set in the game menu and when you save in the game menu it will save them in this file. But crucially there's a line there which represents the settings for your monitor in terms of your the specific monitor adapter, which monitor you're using, the width resolution, the height resolution, and the refresh number. Now, what I found was, in my case, this refresh number was the incorrect value. So I had to replace this number with the correct value. So the correct value is 119998, 119 hertz, 0.998. Uh, previously, it was like 119882. It was, it was off by a tiny fraction. Uh, but that was enough to completely ruin the frame timing and make the game just all juttery and just feel off. Um, by setting this to the exact right frame rate, uh, everything is smooth. But what you do have to do, if you're having the same problem as me, is change this to the correct value of your monitors, then save the text file. Um, obviously, mine's already saved. And once you've saved it, you need to right-click on it and make it read only because otherwise every time you load the game up the game will reset the frame rate in that file to the incorrect one and you'll be like why is it broken again <laughs> so you need to make it read only uh, now this does have some downsides uh, that is that by making that file read only uh, whenever you change graphic settings in the game it won't actually remember them when you restart the game so if you're ever going to change graphic settings after doing this you need to make the file not read only, change the graphic settings in the game, uh, you know, all the details, uh, MSAA, all those settings, change them to what you want to get the performance out of the game, close the game, reopen that file, change it back to the correct hertz for your monitor, then save the file and then make it read only again. Uh, that way it actually has your correct monitor hertz uh, and you will also have the game settings that you want. Um, Yes, it's a little bit convoluted. Yes, it's a little bit annoying, but that specifically fixed the frame timing issue that I was having, and it might be the issue that other people are having as well. Now, I wanted to get the actual sort of guide and information out of the way <laughs> for those of you with the problem as quickly as possible, because uh, I hate doing tutorial videos where the person witters on for ages, and you're like, I just want to know the solution. Or at least I want to see if it's the same problem that I had. So, it is worth saying, though, 
that it's quite likely that that might not be the issue causing your frame timing issues. What I really recommend doing is going to a website called Blurbusters, specifically, uh, yeah, Blurbusters, because it has all the information you need to know really for setting up uh, G Sync, Free Sync, uh, monitor refreshes and all that kind of information on how to get the most out of things like G-Sync and all the nature of uh, frame rates and frame time in V-Sync, uh, triple buffer V-Sync, all those things, it will go through everything so you can really get a foundational understanding of it. Uh, so go to Blurbusters and check that out to see if uh, it's just a fundamental G-Sync issue or just a fundamental issue causing your lack of smoothness. Um, and I would also say that uh, obviously, <laughs> you want to make sure that you, you, you're getting a good frame rate from the game. So regardless of if you have the correct monitor refresh, G-Sync or anything, if your game is running very slowly, you're going to get stutter and frame timing issues. So you need to make sure that you're not, you've not got the graphic settings on so high that it's slowing things down. Uh, the main graphic settings that typically cause the most amount of frame loss are things like uh, shadows, uh, anti-aliasing, uh, it's called, it'll be like MSAA in the game. So high levels of that will cause a lot of uh, impact to performance. Um, and uh, shadows and lighting settings typically tend to be the most demanding. In AMS2, the track details, so the, the, uh, the, the, I think it's called track details are setting, uh, that on higher settings will also be quite demanding because there's a lot of objects in the environment. In fact, you could put that on like medium and the game still looks fantastic. Um, but other than that, yeah, just want to make sure that your game is actually running at a decent frame rate. All said and done, hopefully that is helpful to those of you that are having the same issue as me. It'll be interesting in the comments to know how many people were having that issue and if this actually solved your issue. Uh, great if it did. I feel like I've maybe been useful. <laughs> but um, until the next video, uh, and I'm going to do a video on this force feedback, custom force feedback next, so uh, you can watch that as well. It's delightful. It might change your opinion of AMS too. But until the next one, thank you very much for watching. Happy tea drinking. And goodbye, guys.